As construction wraps up on the North LRT extension to Nate, the City of Edmonton will be shifting away from construction and into the testing and commissioning phase. This crucial phase will involve activation and testing of the power, signaling and communication systems. The public will start to see trains running on the tracks and activation of the safety features such as the crossing warning devices. And, uh, and Gary gets you turned around head back south. Commissioning of the North LRT, uh, otherwise known as the Metro Line, is scheduled to start in September of 2013 and will take place throughout the fall and winter as we test each individual system starting with the rail and the track to the uh, overhead catenary and the traction power substations and then the signaling and communication systems. So that process will take place over a number of months uh, starting in September uh, into the winter and then it gets turned over for uh, operator training for ETS. We are at a pedestrian crossing and behind me you can see gates, arms and right now actually the uh, pedestrian crossing protection system is uh, being activated because we know there is a train approaching. Well the crossing gates, uh, this one in particular is a ped crossing gate, it's to help control the uh, flow of pedestrian traffic across our tracks to keep them safe from the trains and keep the trains ultimately safe from contact with passengers. Uh, it's designed with uh, gates, lights and bells. During commissioning, essentially, uh, the public can think of it as an operational LRT line, but you can't ride the trains yet. Residents in the area may see uh, the bells, the lights uh, going, uh, flashing bells ringing uh, without even trains in the area. This is very important because we do need to make sure that the entire uh, crossing protection system is functioning 100% as designed. We would like you to stop and wait patiently for the train to, to cross the intersection. Avoid crossing in front of the trains or rushing to try to beat the train. Um, anything can happen, you can slip, you can trip, and it just puts you in a place of harm. Crossing the tracks between the pedestrian gates is considered trespassing, and it can be punishable by a fine. Um, that would be the least of your concerns if something were to happen. So it's just like when the train is ultimately in operation. The train, as it comes through, has priority over traffic. We do ask that motorists, pedestrians, and cyclists uh, always pay attention to the warning devices and the traffic signals and always yield the right of way to the trains. The gate serves a purpose to, to, to warn people that the trains are about to cross and should come down with plenty of time to stop the people before the train gets to the intersection. It's very important that uh, as we go into this people start to realize that this line is coming into operation. It's been a construction site for the last few years so people have gotten used to that and now conditions are going to change as trains start to run on the line. We'd like to thank the citizens, the residents and the businesses surrounding the North LRT and the Metro line uh, for all their patience during construction. You know, we need their continued uh, attention to uh, safety and detail during the commissioning phase. Uh, but this is just one step closer to transforming our transportation system to providing more sustainable transportation choices for Edmonton.